Attack on Titan, 10 Most Fearless Characters, Ranked Fearlessness is a universal trait among the heroes of Attack on Titan, but which of these courageous fighters is the bravest? In the world of Hajime Isayama's Attack on Titan, every passing second can mean death. Even behind the protection of the walls, Eldian citizens are never truly be safe. The members of the Survey Corps go out and face the horrific threat of the monstrous Titans in the hope of keeping their loved ones safe. Their courage is one of the themes that stands out most in the popular anime series. It finds an echo even in the opposing camp of Marley, though perhaps not quite to the same extent. This article contains manga spoilers. 10. Willie Tiber sacrifices his own life for his misguided ideals. Even in the world of Attack of Titan, not everyone is a soldier or has military training. Some have to face other challenges and burdens. This is the case of Willie Tiber, an Eldian noble controlling Marley from the shadows. His character rotates around the brutal abuse and suppression of his own race, but he's more complex than that. He experiences a great deal of guilt over the atrocities committed by his ancestors. Seeing the imminent decline of the Marleyan system, he deliberately arranges for his proclamation of war to be in a very public place. He is well aware that he's setting himself up to die, but he's willing to sacrifice himself for his ideals. It's a cruel, selfish kind of courage, but it adds depth to a character who unfortunately doesn't get a lot of screen time. 9. Hannes faces his fears to protect Mikasa and Eren. In a cast of strong characters, it's very easy to overlook less preeminent ones. Hannes is a member of the Garrison Regiment. And during the Battle of the Shiganshina District, he was too afraid to fight. He could do nothing to save Eren's mother Carla, and he felt ashamed of his cowardice. But many years later, he made a stand against the smiling Titan, the very same one that killed Carla. It takes a particular kind of courage to face one's fears, he protects Mikasa and Eren, and it costs him his life. Even if Hannes's bravery stands out less than that of other characters in the series, that just makes his final choice more important. 8. Gabi's stand against the Eldians makes her remarkable, if unlikable. A member of the Marleyan warrior unit, Gabi was originally meant to receive the armored titan from her cousin Reiner. Despite being very young, her physical abilities and courage make her a match for people much older and more experienced than her. During the Battle of Fort Slava, she was able to destroy the armored train with her homemade bomb. Preventing the far more dangerous plan suggested by her Marleyan superior Magath. After she watches the attack on Liberio, she charges into the Eldian blimp armed with nothing but a rifle. Killing Sasha Blouse This act has made many fans despise the character, but few would be able to argue against her competency as a 7. Historia defies her father and becomes the Queen of the Walls The rightful Queen of the Walls, Historia, was born the illegitimate daughter of Rod Rice. After witnessing her mother's death, she was forced to abandon her own identity and join the Survey Corps under the fake name Krista Lenz. Krista's kind, cheerful facade masks a very traumatized young woman, and she's vulnerable to Rod Rice's manipulations. But she finds the courage to surpass her past, reject his plan, and kill him, taking her rightful place on the throne. 6. Emer surrenders to Marley for Reiner and Bertolt. Much of Emer's history is shrouded in mystery. She originally came from Marley, where she became a figure of worship for a group of rebels. After being caught by Marleyan authorities, she was turned into a pure titan and exiled to parody. Many years later, she stumbled onto the group of Marleyan warriors led by Marcel Galliard and ate him. Thereby becoming the Jaw Titan. She finds a new purpose behind the walls in her relationship with Historia and risks her life to save them all during the battle at the tower. Finally, she willingly returns to Marley with Reiner and Bertolt, 
sacrificing her life to help them. 5. Armin bravely confronts the colossal titan. Armin starts out the series as the somewhat more shy and physically weak friend of Mikasa and Eren. He joins the Survey Corps with them but is always plagued by feelings of self-doubt. That changes significantly with time as his strategic genius makes him an unquestionable asset. During the final confrontation with Bertolt, he attacks the colossal titan on his own. Facing the inevitability and pain of being burnt into a crisp to give Eren the opening he needed to approach. He later becomes even more formidable by gaining the power of the colossal titan himself. 4. Erwin Smith is the most inspiring commander in Survey Corps history. Commander Erwin Smith is the leader of the Survey Corps and perhaps the greatest strategic thinker in Attack on Titan. He's willing to sacrifice anything to win victory for humanity. This desire is strongly connected to his burning need to find out the hidden truth about the Titans, but even with that selfish goal in mind. His leadership skills remain unparalleled. He urges his men on even while he's being eaten by a Titan, and he charges to his death to give Levi Ackerman a chance to assassinate the Beast Titan. His final stand is one of the most powerful scenes in the anime and cements him as a permanent favorite in the hearts of fans worldwide. 3. Levi Ackerman is Humanity's Strongest Soldier Humanity's Strongest Soldier Levi Ackerman is the leader of the Special Operations Squad, participating in countless battles against the Titans. Despite his personal feelings, he's forced to watch Erwin Smith and their subordinates ride to their deaths during the fight with the Beast Titan. It doesn't make him falter, and he utterly obliterates Zeke's Titan. He's just as steadfast when Zeke forces him to kill his own men by turning them into pure Titans. His unfaltering strength, born out of a harsh life of deprivations, is a beacon of courage for the scouts. 2. Eren is brave enough to abandon his humanity. Series protagonist Eren Yeager starts out as a fearless, if naive, young man, determined to avenge his mother's death. Even at a young age. He's willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goal of obliterating titans. He dives into the mouth of the bearded titan to save his friend Armin during the Battle of Trost. Turning into the attack titan for the first time shortly afterwards. But his true courage doesn't stem solely from his original quest against the titans. Eren is a tragic figure because in his desperation to become free. He abandons his humanity. His constant struggle takes a lot of courage. Although it could be argued that in the end, he does transform into a villain, that doesn't undermine his value as a character, or the depth of his feelings. 1. Mikasa sacrifices her feelings for the good of the world. The strongest soldier in the 104th Training Corps, Mikasa is well known for her fearlessness in combat. Her main motivation for joining the scouts is protecting Eren. And when she briefly believes Eren is dead, she loses all will to live. But she surpasses the moment and decides to fight on, continuing to be Eren's stalwart guardian. According to Eren, this is at least in part because of Mikasa's Ackerman bloodline. But while Mikasa is genetically programmed to protect Eren and love him, she's still able to end Eren's life to stop his rampage. That kind of sacrifice takes a tremendous amount of courage. <laughs>